Kushner, who has seen his influence in the White House shrink, may receive a phase-saving exit as he deals with legal challenges related to a special counsel's investigation of Trump's 2016 presidential campaign's potential ties to Russia, one of the sources said. This is pure speculation said White House spokesman Raj Shah in an emailed statement about potential staff moves. More junior-level advisors could also use the completion of Trump's first year and tax legislation as a pivot point to move on, leading to another period of uncertainty that has at times overshadowed Trump's tenure, which began on January 20. Things change quickly at the Trump White House. Advisors and cabinet members who fall out of favor with the president can re-enter his good graces, making it hard to predict staff moves. But shifts in personnel are watched around the world for indications of how Trump will tackle issues ranging from North Korea to regulatory policy. You're definitely going to see some people leave after tax cuts get done, said a separate Trump advisor, who requested anonymity to speak freely about the administration. Plan for Tillerson Trump is considering a plan to oust Tillerson, whose relationship has been strained by the top U.S. diplomat's softer line on North Korea and other differences, senior administration officials said. A State Department spokeswoman said Tillerson's chief of staff had been told by the White House that the reports of Tillerson being replaced were not true. Cohn's future in the White House has come into question since his public criticism of Trump's response to the violence at a white supremacist rally in Virginia in August. Their once tense relationship has since improved, however, and one source close to the White House said he could stay longer to help spearhead legislation to improve U.S. infrastructure. I'd go a little bit against conventional wisdom here and say he's got one more project to get under his belt before he leaves, the source said referring to infrastructure. The White House noted Cohn's interview with CNBC earlier this month in which said he did not plan to leave after tax reform was finished. It's my plan to stay and work as long as I can help the president drive his economic agenda, Cohn said. Two of the sources with ties to the White House said they assumed the White House chief of staff, General John Kelly, wanted at least to outlast his predecessor Reince Priebus' six-month tenure in the position. The White House spokesman's statement said discussion of changes was speculation. Once someone comes up with a solution that sounds right, then I think he's going to latch on, the source said. Kushner told The Washington Post this month that he and his wife, a fellow White House advisor, were here to stay. Though a lot of speculation about departures has focused on high-profile names, the possibility of mid-level staffers leaving could have a big impact on the rhythms of the White House. The difference in this administration is that you don't have replacements already on staff or people clamoring to get on board, said one of the sources with ties to the White House.